Porter Ridge High School Correct. processional.
thank the parents, teachers, and staff that helped us get here today. Our high school journey has been unlike any other. Throughout our four years of high school, friendships have been made, life lessons have been learned, and our strength has been discovered. We have learned the values of life, and many of us have discovered our passions. I personally have discovered a passion for agriculture education and veterinary care, which is likely not a shock for most of you that know me personally. But I'm far from the only one who came to high school unaware of what the future holds and what adventures we would discover. Some of my fellow students were lucky enough to know their path from the beginning, and to those individuals, I say congratulations on being more put together than the rest of us. For many of us, high school was an opportunity to open up, find new friends, and experience many of life's gifts with the friends that we'd hoped would last a lifetime. Our freshman year was quite ordinary. We took the classes required of us, and some of us learned what it meant to be a rebellious teenager. Sophomore year was when most of us began driving, each of us knowing when someone new got their license from the excessive swinging of their keys as they walked into the building. Junior year was when everything got real. People began finding their career paths and developing plans to enter the workforce, military, or receiving thousands of college emails daily. The reality of the future, college applications, trade schools, entering the military or workforce hit us like a truck. Suddenly the future seemed so near, and although full of excitement, still held a lot of fear. The fear of change, the fear of the unknown, and for me at least, the fear of loss. I feared the loss of relationships and friendships, the loss of security, and most of all, the loss of childhood. For me, and I believe many of my peers can agree, junior year was when my transition into adulthood really began. My friends began committing to colleges to play sports, gathering lists of colleges to apply to, and looking into trade schools or community colleges, or making plans to enter the workforce or military, and overall discovering what they wanted in life. I realized I was not the only one who lacked direction, so like many of my peers who were unsure, I committed myself to applying to as many schools as I could and forcing my parents to pay hundreds of dollars in application fees. And this was all before the end of the first semester of our junior year. Then the coronavirus hit. Well, technically, it was the Australian wildfires, then almost World War III, then Kobe Bryant's death, then the E. coli contaminated water, and then coronavirus. To say the least, 2020 was a tragic year that cut our junior year short. Everyone, including myself, believed everything would return to normal within a few weeks. But as we can see today, more than a year later, that's still not completely the case. I know for many of my fellow students, this has been devastating. Students, or sports were canceled, prom was canceled, and along with many of the opportunities that make high school memorable. Summer was not the same either. Last high school trips and vacations were forced to be canceled or rescheduled. But we persevered. Our senior year began with a modified school schedule, but by spring semester, almost everything returned to normal. We were able to finish our last semester of high school, attending school in person, participating in sports, having prom, and having our graduation here today. If nothing else, our experience with COVID-19 will give some interesting stories to tell our children one day. And to the parents and grandparents in the audience, don't worry, we'll exaggerate every detail just like you do in your childhood stories. <laughs> We have lived through a climatic point in history, even if we didn't want to. But we will one day look back and see not the tragedy and loss, but the perseverance, determination, and unity that we found through these trying times. We will look back and laugh about Ms. Greer's singing and calculus class, Ms. Gall's wonderful therapy sessions, Coach Stavisky yelling at us in PE class to run just a little bit faster, Dr. Fassen's signature laugh, Mr. Beard, and the stages of his beard. <laughs> our best friends and their contagious smiles and all the parts of each one of us who make us who we are. So my friends, as we leave here today, remember to live each moment to the fullest. Nothing is ever as bad as it seems. And most of all, as a wise man, doc a wise man once said, please remember to keep it classy. Congratulations, class of 2021. At this time, I would like to welcome our student body president, Caroline Cram. I think that the class of 2021 has done just that. The pandemic has brought endless amounts of change, hardship, and challenge to every single person who is sitting in this stadium. But for us as students, it ended many once-in-a-lifetime pivotal moments. We have persevered through a year that threw all kinds of challenges our way. 
We showed resilience this year when our girls' soccer team made it to the playoffs. Our band of Pirates performed their big show outside to hundreds of supporters. Student Council and DSA were able to hold virtual spirit weeks. Various clubs continue to sponsor service projects for our community. And since the show must go on, our theater department continues to have multiple virtual performances. Another example of our class's resilience is that we received over $9 million in scholarship offers this year, which is impressive any time, but even more during a pandemic. Facing adversity is one thing, but to overcome it with spirit and determination shows the world that regardless of the challenge that is thrown at us, we will overcome it. Although this school year looked a lot different for us, I'm so proud of Porter Ridge and our class for everything we have accomplished despite the adversity. Throughout my time at PR and my time as president, I've gotten to see many aspects of our diverse student body. Our abilities are so empowering, and if we communicate and collaborate, we can do even more amazing things as we move on from PR. The world will change you in ways you would never expect, but don't let that weigh you down. Let the challenges push you to be better and be what helps make this world a better place. As we go forward in life, this resilience will stay with us and help us through our struggles and failures. Michelle Obama once said, failure is an important part of your growth and developing resilience. Don't be afraid to fail. No matter where life takes us, we will always remember this time together. The positives, the negatives, the failures, and most importantly, our resilience. Congratulations, class of 2021. Olivia Brooke Brady, summa cum laude. Shannon Nicole Brewer, summa cum laude. Jordan Connor Brigman. Matthew Clay Broadway. Matthew, 
Julie Ann Brooker. Amaya Sharif Brooks. Matthew David Shane Broom, summa cum laude. Savannah Nicole Brown, magna cum laude. Hayden Grace Virtual. Michael Jerome Burks, cum laude. Tia Michelle Berg. Luis Gabriel Calderon Vega. Megan June Callahan. Fabricio Roberto Cardoso, magna cum laude. Nicholas Matthew Carmen. Terry Louise Carver, cum laude. Mylon Christopher Kaysen. Stephania Castillo. Vanessa Cesario Hernandez, magna cum laude. Abby Sintlali Chavez. Taylor Grace Chiba. Did. Jackson Charles Chu, Dustin Michael Ray Hancock, cum laude. Trinity Ray Hanson. Jackson Lee Target. Jackson Paul. Hannah Marie Pierce. Stanley Joseph Patera. Jocelyn Abigail Chisado. Please move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your graduation cap to signify your new role as a graduate. Congratulations to the class of 2021 of Porter Ridge High School who have led the way, committed to their education, their families, and themselves, and grown into intelligent, and respectful young men and women. Thank you again to our special guests from Union County Public Schools Board of Education, Ms. Melissa Merrill, Mr. Todd Price, and Mr. Joseph Morial. Thank you to Mr. Mc, Ms., Ms. McLam from Union County Public Schools and to my fellow principals, Dr. Patience and Ms. Gaddy. We truly appreciate you all. We'll have a special recessional out of the stadium today. Guests, I would ask that you remain in the stand at your seats so that we can properly honor every graduate as they exit our stadium one last time. Once all the graduates have exited the stadium, our guests can exit to meet their graduates. 
Mr. Beard and Ms. Welch and the Junior Marshals will be dismissing our graduates for your recessional by Rose. Porteridge staff, you are welcome to recess out with our graduating class. Graduates, we hope that you will take this time to savor the last moments that you are together as the Porter Ridge High School class of 2021. Congratulations.
Matthew Carmen. Survive it out there, can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end And suddenly it's like the women and men Will the past be a shadow that will follow us round? Will these memories fade when I leave this town? I keep 